life. Yo, what's going on YouTube? And today I got myself a little bit of a tutorial for you guys. And this is gonna be a more of a lengthy tutorial. So you guys know we just mentioned all the booze, all what the spawns and all that. A lot of new runners, at least recently, have been I guess confused to like what boo they should go for or things like that like nothing dramatic by any means but like some people like oh i went to do go do breaker first boo and now like van gore boo like yeah i don't recommend doing that by any means so that is more like this tutorial is more for beginners but i will talk about the advanced strats that we do for each room as well so if you're just looking for big end strats, I'll also be here. But like you're looking, if you're looking to like improve your room in general, this is also a tutorial for you as well. And uh, before I talk about polar boo here, um, I will have timestamps on every single boo in the description. So if there's boos you're good at, you don't want anything to do with it, just go down the description and just find the boo you want. It take you straight to a video, like straight to a point of video. So. But yeah, so Parlor Boo, a very first boo in the entire game. Parlor Boo is more of an advanced boo because of reverse Parlor tech skip. So, I will talk about all the boo spots real quick. And then I'll, just, I'll try to describe what exactly, what you need to look, or how you need to like path and all that. So, the spawns. Parlor table. Bottom right. This little bookshelf here, also the painting, and then this top left cabinet. So, the pathing. What exactly is the pathing? There's a lot of different pathings you can do in this room. If you go for reverse polar tech skip, you check bottom right with a vacuum, that's a boot just spawn, and you get the cloth off the ground, off the table, and you just go for the tech skip just like that, right? That's perfect parlor. That's what you want every single run. But, um, it's not very common. So, there's a lot of alternatives you can do with reverse parlor. So, let me reset the room real fast. And I'll show you guys how the other spawns are. Uh, so, back in parlor here. And we'll do the reverse parlor pathing yet again for you guys. As I'm gonna set the tech skip. So once you set the tech skip, if the radar starts going slightly faster when you're right about here while holding L specifically, um, he will be in one of these two spots no matter what. At least the boost spot itself. The boost and table here, which you just moved because I'm in. Oh yeah, hello disclaimer. Um, and ga I'm on gap warp. Is how I'm just demonstrating the toy for you guys. I will have the L we just mentioned Discord on how to get Guy Warp um, in the description. So keep that in mind. I'm also at Guy Warp 1.0, so the boost balls are random. So I don't know why 1.0 is random. The other one isn't. Like the newest version. It's just how it is. I boot spoon the table. But, but yeah, Guy Warp 1.0. Boost spots are completely random. Great way to practice your boot pathing. Fifth, fantastic way. But yeah, once again, if the boot radar starts going slightly fast, like I just showed, um, check the painting and this shelf at the same as that time. Every single time. If there's no lump here at the beginning, they you still check these two. And then he's probably in a cabinet if um, he's not on the painting or this bookcase here. Alright, so let me show you guys a different alternative real fast for Parlor Boo here. So, like, let's say you're not comfortable with tech skip at all. I'm going to show you guys a different way to lease Boo Path. It's pretty much the same. But, like, let's say you're not comfortable with it you want to go for the downside version just pull it back and just knock on this every single time and then just walk on over and just check all the other spawns 
But like, since it's not going fast here, like I've been talking about earlier, in this case, he's on the table, but um, just check the top left every single time. This room's not very complicated. Reverse politics skip is difficult at first, but overall, it's not that bad. So, we take the cloth off, has to be removed. <laughs> That's awkward. Yeah, but. Let me just show you guys a different alternative as well, actually. So. We go back in the room, and you see a lump on the cloth. Just take it off immediately, if you're not comfortable with hexkip whatsoever. And then just go bomb right. And check these two spots right here. That's a boost in this bookcase. They just capture them how you would normally capture them. And all that. Fun, fun stuff. Let me try to get a lump for you guys. So give me one second there. Alright guys, so the third alternative is if you're not comfortable with the text get whatsoever, if you see a lump, take the cloth off immediately. Every single time. And then check bottom right. Then walk on over. If you get speed here, just check both of these. He's a painting this time. That's mainly why you want to check the painting as well. Because for some weird reason, that specific painting um, has a spawn in there. I guess with a quick disclaimer before I move on to an answer here. This is one of the more complicated rooms. Do not check. There's no spawns in here. There's no spawns in these paintings. There's no spawn in the ceiling. There's like got five spawns to show you. There's no spawn in this chair. There's nothing like that at all. It's only bottom right, table, bookshelf, or below the painting. The painting itself, and then this like chat and cabinet on top left. That's all there is. It's super. The spawns are pretty basic. It just the strats itself can be a little complicated at, for new runners. But yeah, guys, that is Paulo, and let's move on to Anto, which is definitely way less complicated than this room. So, give me one second here. Alright, guys, I got yourself Anto Boo here. This Boo is very, very simple. Top right, middle, walk to the left. I guess the biggest tip with Anto Boo is to... If there's not a booter top right side, like, not spawn at all, I try your best when you check middle to get the muscle memory to go, keep going left no matter what. Because anti boo normally does not leave very fast whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about the boo leaving. You can't play safe if you want. If you just want to tap this and just like wait for it as a mushroom spawn. Um, that's completely fine. But like, over time, like say there's no spawn here, like I said, and there's a spawn here, but you're not sure there's a boot in there or not, or there's a boot ball itself. Um, just try to get a muscle member to go kick out and left, and just be prepared for a boot to spawn if it does spawn. But yeah, answer is very, very simple. Once again, top right, top middle, top left. Super simple, simple. It's one of the easiest boot reads in the entire game. Because it's those three spawns, and they're all very separated. But yeah, that's the answer. That's that simple. Let's move on to wardrobe. That's for wardrobe boo. Wardrobe boo can be a little bit complicated sometimes, but I'm going to show you guys the most consistent way to, like, check for wardrobe. So, obviously, there's no speed here at this moment. This means he is in middle or top left every time. He just moved, but like, if you walk in this room, it's not going fast whatsoever. He will be middle cabinet or top left cabinet. So there you go for the spawn to you. This shoe rack, right in front of me, in front of Ouija, took face to the right. He got the right cabinet, the middle cabinet, and the left cabinet. So what makes Wojo Boo a little tricky? It's on top right cabinet and shoe rack. Once you enter the room, as you see, it's going super, super fast. In this situation, if it's going super fast like that, at least he's in shoe rack. If it's going super super fast, he's shoe rack at least a lot of the time. He's usually there quite a lot. So, let me capture this bureau fast. Just talk about this a little bit more. 
So when I go super fast, always shoot rack. I'm gonna show you guys the alternative if he's in top right cabinet. But a big recommendation, if, he, if you're not sure if he's top right or shoe rack, just check both. Check both. If you, if it's wrong, don't be, don't be worried about it at all. It's like a second, two loss at best. It, it's nothing crazy. The shoe rack middle, top left. Very, very simple. Let me see if I can have this close here real fast so I can like show you guys something. But like, you can also use the vacuum to get the timing. You have to get the timing down a bit. But if you use the vacuum, um, the boot does like to charge towards you. Let me actually get a demonstration show. Let me, give me one second here. All right, we're back in wardrobe. As you can see, there's no speed. So melee checks middle and top left. I like using a vacuum, like I said. It is doing it this way. It's like a... You don't necessarily have to use a vacuum by any means. It's just... It's a, I don't know if it's exactly faster. But it does feel faster because you definitely go right to the cloth by any means. But um, let me try to get this demonstration as well for this top of our cabinet. Okay, as you see, it's going... It's, it's going speedy. It's going a little bit faster than normal, so that means he's top right. It's like super fast, like the shoe rack, but it's a little bit slower. So that's the thing you gotta get used to with wardrobe boom. Is one second there. Is if you go in, it's going super, super fast. Like the fastest you ever see it. That's like fast yellow. That it does mean it's a shoe rack. If it's going fast, but it's slightly slower, uh, he will be top right. So uh, I do just recommend if you're unsure, let's say you check top right first. Don't be afraid to check shoe rack because I still do that myself. I've had times I thought I got the recurrent and it was wrong. Many, many times. Still to this day, that happens. So usually if I check top right, a lot of the time I still check Shrek. Recently, I've gotten better at it. But that's one thing you can easily do. Don't be, don't be discouraged whatsoever about it. And yeah, that was wardrobe. It's, it's, it's a simple room. Especially if you just check all four spots. Just no matter what. Just, re just know that if it's not going fast at all, Go straight to middle cabinet, and then check left. Like, you don't have to check these two at all. Very, very simple if you get that rude. But if you get fast speed, don't be afraid to check both of these. And yeah, that's wardrobe. Let's go into ballroom and, and swords. Alright guys, so on the... For the boot path itself, you do go to storage first. But quick little disclaimer. Try to get close to these two right chairs as possible to get a quick little read on if the boo is there or not. Um, if it's going faster when you go to the right chairs, that means that there's a boo spawn there. Ballroom boo does like moving a lot though, but we're talking about more for after storage here. So storage. This room's very, very simple. The six boxes you see here, only spawns of the entire room. That's it, none of the chairs, there's none in this bucket, there's none of the left side of the room, there's none of the poster, it's not in the floor. <laughs> Stop the mirror, stuck a button again, nothing like that. Just the boxes. Not the ch and again, not the chairs. So there's a couple of different strats you can do to activate all the boxes at once. Um, I'll show you guys what I preference. I usually go to like around this middle box and just hold the vacuum and just aim a little bit up. So I walk towards the middle, aim a little bit up. And you're able to get all the boxes all at once. And then after that, you can skip through this way. But I will also show you guys an alternative that I see a lot of other ones do. So give me one second here. Alright, so the alternative for... Is you go to the right side of boxes, check them all. Then you go to the left side of boxes. As the boost on the wall. So... Also, this won't happen in your runs, because I'm on Gabwop right now. He can just leave. But, um, 
I, I see a lot of people go for rice out of boxes, kind of like run against them. Kind of like this. They'll like start right side, just start going left. This, I see a lot of top runners do this themselves. They just go right to left, left to right. I guess whatever your preference, but I would recommend going right side because you're a little bit closer to it and all that. And then my method, just go to the middle, aim a little bit up. You can miss this box right here pretty easily though. Like I still do it a bunch of times. And a lot of the time when I miss that box, he's in that box, which is kind of annoying, but <laughs> a lot of the time if you're aiming like, I guess to like the corner of the, the middle box right here, most of the time you're shaking them all. But if you notice you're not shaking a left box, just check a ball that's quickly to do this. But um, I guess my biggest recommendation is to do this strat, we go right to left. That's what I recommend to do for the runners. Um, I just have a preference with it that, that I kind of just stuck with. I just like shake all the boxes at the same time, basically. But yeah, storage move, very, very simple. So let's talk about ballroom here. Mm Hello, -hmm. right, guys. So let's talk about ballroom. So what are the sponsor ballroom? The sponsor ballroom of these two chairs, the painting, and these two left chairs. Every single time. So, let's describe the pathing. So, once you leave storage, the first thing you want to do is check these two chairs right here. And as you can see, he's not in the two chairs at the moment. So, what I do recommend is keep holding your vacuum out. And then go to the left chairs and check these ones next. And one thing to keep in mind is... If the... If the one of the chairs is not dusting when you're shaking for the spawn... Because you guys probably saw it there, is when I was shaking both of these, the left one was not dusting at all. What that means is the boo is in the other chair if they get a boo ball. So, if you see the left chair not dusting, and the right chair spawns as boo spawn, keep shaking it to the boo spawns every single time. And the reason why we don't check painting to last, uh, painting is the least common spawn in the room. I'm not sure what the exact percentage is, but um... Just try to keep that in mind. You can't check painting next if you really want to. I sometimes do it. Just like, I have a feeling he's in painting. I'm gonna check painting. Like, I still do that myself. So, if you wanna check painting a third, you can. I do recommend checking the chairs left. But like, it's kind of, it's just a guessing game, honestly. Just the most common thing to happen. If he's not right chairs, he'll be in left chairs. Like, most of the time. But painting spawn is the worst spawn in the room, unless you decide to check the third. The best spawn in the entire room is one red chairs, obviously. Just spawn the boo as soon as possible. But yeah, ball boo, pretty simple. Let's go on to um, mirror room. Okay, yeah, so we're now in mirror room. And this boo can be one of the biggest trolls in the entire game. Because this is our first save that we do in the speedrun. Is once you get the fire medallion. You have to get the boo, then the fire medallion. So what exactly we do in this room? So let me describe all the spawns here. So like all these objects you see, the painting, a little cabinet here, and the candles, and the, um, like a fire stick here. They can spawn all four of these, including the painting. So you do want to keep that in mind. And then also the top left candles over here as well. That's not like a ceiling. That's not like a chest. That's none on the floor like I said before. A carpet. Nothing like that. So well, usually once you get the double, um, the first thing you want to do, you want to try to land about right where I'm standing and just check this middle cabinet every single time. The reason why I highly recommend checking there every single time. I'm just gonna get this boo. Because I'm not gonna go over like fire whip and all that. Uh, this is just basically for breweries specifically. So keep that in mind about this. So the reason why you check the cabinet every single time is he's usually in there uh, most of the time. The percentage of, is pretty high, like, 
I say like half the time I get the boot in this cabinet here. So let's say I'm probably gonna get a demonstration here for you guys. But if it's going fast, yellow fast, like super fast, when you stand right here, turn around and check the candlestick. Every single time. Because say let's let's say there's a boot ball in here, a turn around and it's going super fast yellow. That means he's in the candlestick every single time if you just go straight to a uh, fire warp strategy and all that because i don't have a fire warp in here because i'm on gat warp so let me get this demonstration for you guys to see if i can show you what exactly what it looks like so give me one second here all right so let me see if the boo is here so check you check here he's in there again but like if you really want to if you're unsure you can just do this pathing every time until you get used to the boo right on itself. It's gonna be hard to kind of just show demonstration because the boo likes to be in that cabinet a lot, as you can see. Like I said earlier, he was in there again. So, so let's say um, the boo is in the top right, for example. I guess that would describe it before I get to top right. If it's going full red, and he's not on this. If you're facing this way and it's full red, check the painting. That means the boost spawn that you're getting the read from isn't painting. Because they are this this cap this like little cabinet here, the painting is the same as that read. Every single time. But yeah, let me try to see if I can get another sample for you guys. Okay, so as you can see, I'm standing right here. And you can see it's going a lot faster, like it shows on the radar. This is the example I mean to check this um, candlestick. Because when it's going super fast yellow, every single time, if he's not in that cabinet that I'm talking about, you should check first. Um, just turn around, check the candlestick. He's not in there, so as you can see, it's going faster, but he's not going straight red. That means to check the top right every single time. That's the path that you want to do. And if the boo is not moving fast at all, it's just a slow yellow. Just walk all the way. Just take the walk of shame over the top left. Because I like calling it a walk of shame because it's by far. I mean, painting's pretty bad too, but I'll say it's by far the lowest spawn there. But that was a perfect example. To like demonstrate for you guys. I think that's all I can talk about with Mirabu boo, boo reading. But um if you guys want to learn about like fire warp, like and all that, uh just watch like the uh, other tutorials like Zircon's tutorial or HG's uh blisses. Red has one as well. I'll put all the tutorials for you guys in the description below as well. I'll have everything all for you in one place. We'll do that. But yeah, the next boo is the bow cycle boo, so let's go over there now. Alright guys, we're now in Butler's room, and we're going to talk about the boo reads. So, there are four spawns in Butler's room. You guys love a sewing machine here. You got this left ca like sewing table. And then you got this tool shed. And then all the way down here is the bucket. And that's one of the sponsors right here currently. So, what exactly do you do in this room, pathing wise? So, once you capture Butler, you can notice where I'm standing here. Big thing, get the key, open the chest first. Every single time. And sit, it's not going fast red. If it's going super fast red, check the sewing machine. Like, super, super fast red, fast yellow. But if you're like right here, and as you can see, it's going a little bit faster, check this table. And then grab the key. And let's see if he's in there. He is in there, so. So let's say the boo is not in neither. Like, what exactly do you do if he's not in either of these spawns? This is one of the most common boo spawns the entire game. It's about a 50% chance he's in this spawn. It's the tool shed. So, if it's not going fast whatsoever, I'll show you, I'll give myself a disable for you guys as well. 
but I'll at least like, describe it first. If you get no speed at all, no extra yellow speed or a little bit of red, go straight to control shed. And then prepare yourself with the fire outside to go to the bucket. Because you'll know right away that he's in it, the booze either in tool shed or the bucket. Every single time. I do recommend to keep in mind. Um, since you a lot of you guys are going to be new runners who watch this. Um, if you do, if you don't do like the fastest butler cycle like nearly possible, this boo will probably move a lot for you guys. But like, don't be discouraged by that by any means. Um, just do, just check all the spawns so, like in this order. I'll say. Then a bucket down here. But yeah, let me get you a sample for you guys for a tool shed read. So, give me one second here. Okay, as I said before, we, we did get the same example here. What well, a different sample, actually. Is once you're at the chest, this big tip always open the key chest first. Because a lot, if you're on GP specifically, the mouse hole strat that I just activated comes in use clutch, you always want to grab the key first every single time. Even if you don't, even, even if you're on English. And like the um, the text tip doesn't work. Just get the key first every time. Like I do recommend always go for like a text tip setup, even if you're English, just to like get the muscle memory for it. Because you'll probably eventually want to switch to Japanese at some point if you're committed to the game. So I do recommend getting that muscle memory down. But yeah, as I said, if it's going super fast yellow, just check the slow show machine here. He's not there, but he just moved. So. And then, as you can see, there's no like fast speed whatsoever. They just shut the tool shed. They grab the key after that. Always check the first three spawns. Always check one spawn. Then grab the key. Every single time. Because, let's say the boost. If you're like going to a second spawn, and the boost spawns, you're not ready to grab the key, you're gonna miss out on this little setup here. At least if you're on the Japanese version. But yeah, like, Butler Boo is. I think Butler Boo is one of the easiest boosts in real time game, personally. It, it's, you can tell very, very easily once you understand the roots. So like fast yellow, check so machine. Slightly fast yellow, like in this area, check over here. No speed at all, check tool shed then bucket. And a lot of time he will be in tool shed. Like over half a time. Like it's insane how much the boo is in a tool shed in this room. But yeah, that's butler. That's the best way I could probably describe butler. So let's move on to hidden. One of the harder rooms of the game, I'll say to read. So, yeah, let's get to it. Alright uh, guys, so we're now in Hidden, right? So, let me describe the spawns in the Hidden. There's five spawns in this room. So, once you get all the ghosts, big recommendation is this chest right in front of me. The right chest of the main chest in the room. Um, you want to activate this chest. A big recommendation is to try to activate the chest as the cutscene's playing through the green chest. But if you do miss it, don't be don't feel worried about it at all. It um as you can see, you can see the radar's being a little more fast here. That means he's in the middle chest. But let me was he just moved, unfortunately. But like, if you're standing right here, it's getting a little bit fast. Like, just a little bit. Like, this is just a steady yellow. So a little bit faster than the yellow that you're seeing right now. If Especially if you check this spawn. It, it's a boo ball, or a boo bomb. He will be in the middle chest. But this right chest, the middle chest, the top left chest, and then the far left chest. What's the boo just move for the far left? He's now the middle chest. 
But like, he's not in this chest, he's not in the trophies, he's not in the ceiling, he's not in the paintings. Um, the candlesticks, the carpet, nothing like that. He's not in the green chest. So these five specific chests, always check these. I'm not gonna spawn this boo. But like a spell chest here, the top left, and the far left. I just always highly recommend just checking the bottom right here. And as you can see, there's no speed right now. So he's even top left or left, which he's in left currently. It seems a little harder. This room it takes some time to get used to. Like, this room's hard enough. And then a brewery could be a little complicated. But like, if you all get a no speed whatsoever at this chest specifically, just walk over straight to the left chest. Even same with the middle. I've been deciding to um If I'd have had the bottom right chest and the far right chest read at all, but I do notice that the speed is a little bit faster than steady. Um, so I know, like, one of the spawns is in the middle chest here. Um, I usually like checking left first anyways. Unless I get a read in one of these two chests. So this is, like, what I personally like to do. Like, you can tell immediately as well if these in the right chests or not. Like, if it's not going fast whatsoever. It has to go it's pretty fast, too. But, uh, I can't whistle boo boo this, I can show you guys. But, usually, not, I think all the chest spawns are the same percentage. I will say they're all 20. So, I guess let's try to get this pathing down as much as possible. That's one alternative, they can like, if you, if you realize he's not here at all, we can just go straight left, and then just check the accordingly chest from there. He can also vacuum them if you want to, but um, a lot of the time you just knock on them. I think an early time you want to like vacuum is if you have to check here and here at the same time, you can knock on this and this vacuum this, or vice versa, you can do the same thing, vice versa, pretty easily. But yeah, hidden is, it's a bit more complicated, but over time, you'll get used to it. It took me a long time to get used to this room. So once again, don't feel down that you're at a chest wrong. Just get down the spawn locations completely. That's all that matters. There's no where the boost spawns, it just adjusts from there. You'll understand it a lot more the more you do it. So... If you do get stuck in this room a lot with the boo, don't feel upset about it at all. But yeah, that is hidden. And we'll go up to laundry boo. Alright, click on a disclaimer about laundry. When you're going for baller cycle, and let's say you get like a decent baller cycle, right? And you get the animations, the cuts you skip with a chest. If you're on the left side, and once you go to Bartlow to capture him, if it's going fast, for like right here, that means that there's a boost spawn on the left side. And... That can help you later on in the run when you have to get Laundry Boo. So, a quick little disclaimer about that. So, Laundry Boo itself, there's four spawns in Laundry. You got this like, little bucket right here. It like a mop. He got this little rack right here with the, the cloth. Then you got his cabinet and the laundry basket. Disclaimer, you cannot knock on the laundry basket. Little disclaimer. So every time you want to check left side, just vacuum this cabinet and the laundry basket at the same as that time. So what exactly do you do? So let's taboo can be a little tricky sometimes. But there's one specific angle you want to do. You want to be like a left or less little mop here and this aim top right. Because you can shake both spawns at the same time. As you can see, I shook both. The top thing did dust. It could be... This a, this a, this an alternative people do is they're like, go underneath and do this. 
you can do that as well. The reason why I'm not a big fan of that is you can, at least for like top runners, like, like a top of runner like myself, I go for laundry tech skip with, with this cloth here. It, it's probably the hardest tech skip in the game. I highly do not recommend going for it if you're a new runner, by the way. But um, if you want to like try it, like feel free. Maybe I try get this demonstration for you guys with it in a second here. But you always want to be like a leftist mop. It is pretty much just aim up. Just like face like northeast towards the left and just aim up. You will shake both of them. A better recommendation, like I said earlier, if you do just like that little disclaimer I did, and this though like fast speed left side when you go to butler or open a chest um you'll know he's right side no matter what and sometimes this happened to me a lot when i did not know about this sometimes they were both dust and one boost bomb would not work so big recommendation if you know 100 percent he's right side no matter what keep shaking it until the boost spawns because eventually he will spawn just make sure you're shaking both objects here a little bucket mop and then the top shelf yeah i, could, I guess i could try to show you guys a tech skip um but once again i do not recommend doing it if you are new so keep that in mind so once again, once you enter this room, go to the right side, and just aim up to the left side of the, the mop. As you can see, the second did spawn here. Let's see if I can get his tech skip. I did just get it. Uh, also keep in mind, um, there are three motion spawns in this room, which is very, very chill about the game. It's pretty depressing. Because a lot of the time, probably like 80% of the time, especially if the boost spawned, the mushroom will probably hit you. It's very, very agitating. So, um, the little bucket here has one, the ceiling light has one, and this cabinet has one. So, if a, if a boot does, if a mushroom does spawn, I highly recommend not going for tech skip. I'll just try to get weight for as much as you can. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a very unfortunate situation, but yeah, once again, if he's left side, just, you can activate both these spots at the same time. You, you cannot knock on the laundry basket. So always, always, always vacuum this part of the room here and all that. But once again, these two spawns. Wait till the dust. We wait like an extra second if necessary. And then just vacuum these two spots here. And yeah, that's Laundry Boo. And next we got Melody. Alright guys, so we have Melody's room. And this room has a lot of spawns in it. So I'm going to try to describe all the spawns as best as I can here. So as you can see, it's going straight right in this cabinet. So this cabinet right here. You also got the piano. Piano as a spawn as well um you got all the drums you got the sour phone i believe it's called you got the cello i believe it's the cello and you got this instrument and then this instrument so every single instrument the entire room has a boost spawn in it and that's what makes this room a little bit complicated sometimes so a great example when you're walking left here if you're straight looking left I can see if the boot moved. If you're looking straight left as you go into the chest and it's going straight red, you want to check here every time. Because that means there's a boot spawn possibility there. A lot of the time, luckily, this is a boot ball spawn. Um, a lot of the time, he, the boot is in one of these two spawns here, luckily. But um, if the boot's not here, like, don't feel upset about it by any means. Just try to follow the path again that I do. So. You go to the chest. And once you go to the chest. I would highly recommend opening it. Once you pass the piano. So pass the piano. Then open the chest. As you can see. When I open the chest. It's going to a little bit fast. Yellow. That means he is in middle drum. 
and those of that know this, it's just a lot of experience with it. Like, you can tell, if this got a little bit faster, maybe even red, I'm not too sure, he did just move. But, um, if it's going a little bit faster than that, that means he's right jump. If it's going a little bit slower than that, but still, like, somewhat fast, that means he's a boost and left jump. So, there's a lot of talk about this room. Like, my god. Uh, this is definitely one of the most complicated boo reads in a tire game, easily. So, once again, top right, then piano. And then... If you're walking left, it's straight red. Open the chest, check the spot. Kaboo, just move it again. Did he get a piano? He's not a piano still, he's left side. So, but it's going like, it's going fast yellow. Um, like a super fast yellow. I mean, you can check all the jumps too, if you're not 100% sure. Just if it's fast yellow, and it's not going red as you walk to the left. That means he's in the drums. And then you got this spawn here. I see he's in right now. He just moved to this spawn. He gets moved to like every spawn. This is kind of neat. But yeah, just like go right to left and just check. Just try to read the best you can every single instrument. Obviously, the more left of the boo is in the room the worst the spawn is and annoyingly this is a pretty bad thing about this room is let's say you check the spawn right and there's a boo ball and let's say you're about to check one of the drums um a, the boo moving in this room is probably the most annoying the entire game because when you're in, in the, unless he moves like right here, he's in left jump right now, I think. At least metal jump. It's hard to read sometimes. He's won the jumps. But, um. Man, there's so much stuff out here. Um. I forget what I was even saying, honestly. <laughs> I literally lost my train of thought while I was trying to say here. But, uh. The main thing you want to do, like I said. Just go right to left. If you want to check everything, that's fine. And if the boo moves... Okay, this is what I'm talking about. If the boo moves... And he's not in, like, in this middle instrument, so this, like, cello here. Um, you kind of just gotta guess. Just intuition. Um, I just recommend going right. Like, the most likely the boo just move there. A boo won't move a piano, which is interesting. But the same read I talked about earlier, I'm facing straight left. That means it's in this instrument here. If I can knock on it, that'd be great. But yeah, but I think that's the best way I can describe Melody Boo for you guys. Like, this Boo's gonna give you some problems. Like, it's gonna happen. I hope my description, like all the reads, will at least help you guys as much as possible. But yeah, that is Melody Boo. Just check every single instrument. Just don't check like these things. Like the little chairs. Like the boos cannot be in the chairs. It's always the instruments in the top of the cabinet. That is it. So, if you're completely unsure, just check everything. Maybe watch this part of the video several times to like understand the boo reads. As much as you possibly can. But yeah, that was Melody Boo. And we're going to move on to Kitchen. Which is a little less complicated than this room. So, give me one second here. Alright guys, so we're now in Kitchen. And this room is definitely way less complicated than Melody. So, the spawns that we're describing here. So, one thing to keep in mind about Kitchen. When you're a master through the text... When you're talking to Ega about the water medallion, if it's going a little bit fast, as it is right now, it, at least it was, well, it is still, actually. I think he's staying, like, right here, I believe. You can see it's going a little bit faster. Just, like, it's super, super small. A lot of the time, he could be in dishwasher, and that's the best spawn in the entire room. So... 
you get the water right first and then you check the dishwasher and then you see the lump on the table right there like where the teapot is um if the boo moves and there's a lump there do not check it because if there's a lump there that in if the boo didn't move the lump will stay there no matter what and that means the boo or the boo bomb was there at the beginning or the boo bomb is there right now so i think a boo went back here actually but you see the boo boos one time just to disclaimer one time because most of the time the boo would just early boot once on you because this boo does move quite often at least for top level runs but if your water like split was a bit slower usually this boot does not move until a little bit later so you got the dishwasher you got the table then you got the refrigerator and then you got the cabinet and i'll let me open this fridge actually one little trick you guys can do you can run against the fridge here with the vacuum out and just aim down and you can activate both spawns at the same exact time. Like how I'm doing it right now, as a boot to spawn. It's not supposed to be ice that, by the way. So let me get this boot real fast. Okay, as I was saying, like uh, how it just worked, you will be running like about northeast. Get your vacuum out. Run against a wall. Like run against. Go northeast against a fridge. You can also aim down. I recommend kind of aiming down. It feels a little more consistent opening this cabinet. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can just knock out a fridge and then just knock over here. Um. But yeah, this room's not that bad. But this is the main thing you want to keep in mind. It, if it's going a little bit fast, like stuck in the EGAD. I mean, a lot of the time, you have to get the water and then water the door first, no matter what, anyways. So you, you'll know pretty easily if the boot could be in dishwasher or not. So like, you don't necessarily have to do that read. A lot of it is for when the boot moves. You want to check that spot? I usually check, even the boo bombs in there, and I know it's a boo bomb. I still check it anyways. Just get the, like the read out of the way. So just if the boo moves, if you see a lump here, just don't check it at all. Because that means the boo was there, and the boo moved, or the boo bombs are in the room. And um, I guess the other thing is too, if the boo does move. If there's no lump here, and it's going straight red, the boo is in there. You want to take the table off as soon as possible, or the cloth. Take the table off, that makes sense. Yeah, but... The boo path thing itself is dishwasher, check table for a lump. Um, and then just check fridge and cabinet like this, or just walk over to the cabinet after check the fridge, and that's it. And also, there is a tech skip in this room. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're new to not go for this. Because this is a pretty more advanced tech skip. I don't think laundry is as bad as this one. Well, I don't think this one's as bad as laundry. But um, it, it does require boo dragging. And um, you don't really go for boo drags. Until you're at least a sub one owner, so I do highly recommend. I will have the tutorial. I'll have Pablo's tutorial. He does have a tutorial about it um, in the description below. If you guys are interested to check it out, regardless. But yeah, that is kitchen though, and that's all the booze in there too. We're only eleven booze in the way, and we have to capture quite a bit more. So next is the two room boo. All right, guys, we have Tea Room. Also, one of the most complicated boos in the entire game. So, there's going to be a lot of description I'm going to try to tell you here. So, the number one thing, I guess for new runners, I just recommend, highly, highly recommend, there's an advanced strat in the game where you check, up, like, you check like five or six of the spawns in this room, because there's a bunch in this room. There's about like at least ten, I want to say. 
And um, there's a strategy to check like five or six of the spawns with opening the chest if they get into the medallion, like after you check in the six spawns. But the one big recommendation for your owners always get the medallion chest first. And since I can't grab it because I'm a guy warp, I have all the spawns like activated. Um, I'm not gonna grab it. So the number one thing about this, when you open the chest, and it's going fast, like fast yellow or even red. If it's going red, when you open the chest this direction, that means it's one or two spawns. This chair right here, or this chair right here. One to two. If it's going very, very fast yellow, that means he's on the chest behind you. It takes a lot of practice to know exactly what chair the boo is in as well. Because a lot of the movement that you do, you have to read it like very fast. Like, as you can see, it's going full red. I'm not exactly 100% sure what chest chair he's in. It looks like he's in a left chair. It's actually to see if it reaches facing one specific chair, but it's going super, super fast yellow. Like it's flat yellow, but you go a little bit left, it goes red. That means he's in a top left chair every single time. At least like one of the spawn locations. It could be a boo ball, a boo ball, all that kind of stuff. So like, let's say you don't get the read, right? If you had the ice medallion. The next read is to check the ice bucket. And then, if the boot's not in there, I recommend just ground the ice immediately after that. I think a boot just went to... See, like, as you can see, he went to this chair right here. So yeah, so these four chairs. There's also a boot spawn. This is the boot ball location. On uh, this left cabinet. Usually, you want to check this cabinet last. So the cabinet here is kind of not common. I think the downside about this, especially, I do have a tech skip set up here, because I did do the room completely. Um, this is probably the worst boo spawn in the entire game, because with the boo spawn, so boo gets stuck on the chest every time, and if we get, if you were like a tech skip runner in this room, um, it makes it a lot harder to get it, and sometimes it can be so hard that you can't even get the boo the boo leaves. Like, it's so annoying. Like, left side is, I personally think this is the worst boo spawn in the entire game. But, um, let's say he is not in the ice bucket. He's in the ice bucket right now. This is going straight red as you're, like, facing towards it. Big, big recommendation. Run against this table, get out the vacuum, move forward. You will activate every single spawn, at least most of them. You want to aim as probably as low as possible as well, as you see the boot just moved. If you're running against this table towards this like little box here, if you're going forward, you will activate every single spawn in the right table. There's five spawn, you're activating five spawns at the same exact time. You can also do this on a left side of the table as well. Go to medical chest, run up against it, aim as low as you can. It's not, it's kind of hard to hit all of them here. But like once you get the spot down, as you can see, I'm shaking every single t chair in the room. Um, this is also another way, like if you know he's like in the left table, there's a way to activate a bunch of spawns at once. This is the biggest note is to be running against the table, especially if you go for tech skill like myself. Because if you like you just hold all and do nothing, like a little bit forward, you take the cloth off very, very easily. Like you don't have to be running against it, you can be stopped. But like I guess I'll must have memory for me, I just walk forward. But yeah, so the main thing I recommend for Nero is grab the medallion. Even f like, I mean, you can check one of the left chairs, then get the boo. But the biggest thing is if you fall off the table without opening the chest, it's a bunch of time loss. Like it's a lot of time loss. It's probably like at least 10 seconds. 
So I just hide like a man and get the medallion first. And then if you want to check the chairs and then the ice. I recommend checking the, if you're going to read for the ice. Like just check the ice and grab it and then like just walk up and do this. And then just if he's not there, go over here and do this. If he's in neat in another little spawns. Um he'd be in this black cabin over here. And again, I think that's the worst spot in the entire game. Which is it's very, very devastating getting that spawn for like upper runners because I think consistently he loses the most time, maybe besides like Polybo. Especially like the best spawn in the room. It's one of the biggest time losses, ONG wise, in my opinion, in the entire game. Which really sucks because it's like it's the first room in area three. You can have an amazing run in area two that can just completely die. But like lose so much time and kill such a good pace for you because of one boost bot. It's very, very agitating. But yeah, I think that's the best I can describe to you for you guys. Just if you're a new runner, just go towards the middle of the table, run up against it, and just shake all the chairs on both sides and the middle box. The middle box does have a spawn, but you always activate it if you do it correctly. So, but yeah, that's T-Room, and next is Nana's room. So, let's get to it. So, Alright guys, so we're now in Nana's room, and Nana's room is... The breathing itself in this room is pretty simple, but this brew could be a pain at the same time, especially like the fast drive in this room and all that. Um, there's only four spawns in this room. You got the bell table here. You got a bottom right cabinet. You got this little, I guess it's a sewing machine at the top right here. So this is a brew ball. You got this top right cabinet thing here. And you go all the way down here to this um, little wheel. That's also one of the spawns. So there's a couple things you can do in this room. I'll show you guys the sets, how we do it. It's like once we capture Nana, we try to go for a little bit of an insta knock. You usually want to be facing as far right as possible. And like, you kind of want to be neutral to the stick. Like, I do think this is one of the hardest ones to get the entire game. Like, instant knock-wise. Because you're facing all the way to the left, so you can't knock on it. So you have to be, like, such a good angle. Like, once you capture Nana. But most of the time, you do want to check here. Or the bomb right spawn. Bomb right spawn is a lot more consistent at the boo beating in the spawn. This spawn's a lot more rare, it seems to us. So, a lot of the time, I won't put it past you guys, just just check here first, and then check the server machine, because he's in server machine right now. So, you can check here first, and then go bottom right, top right, or you can check here, and then top right, and then run to the middle table, and then check bottom left after that. But yeah, let's say he's in this spot right here. You go to the chest. And then you just fight him normally. As he's just trying to escape from there. This move can be super, super annoying. Because we have a little bit of strategy here. Getting the key out. And then dragging the boo. Because I did just lose him because I was counter trolling. But um... Normally... Why this boo could be such a pain is the ice strat that we do is you get into about 45 HP and then you freeze him and then you open the chest and then you just all pump until you finish this off and grab the key. It can be super super annoying, but like I'm not really here to describe that exactly. So if you really want to, I usually just recommend getting the boo and then getting the key like very very end. Unless he, the boo is in top left, you can just open the chest and then go bottom left here to shut the spawn and then grab the key with the vacuum. I probably recommend using a vacuum to grab the key if you do do it that way. But that's a boo ball spot. 
But Nana's like Nana Nan, eh, Nana Boo reads in general, it's pretty simple, I'll say. Um Nana Boo can be a troll though. Like you can get the worst spot of the room, what's the bottom left? It's actually another alternative I actually want to show you guys. So give me one second here. Okay, so a little bit of alternative you can do here is let's say you're not the most comfortable uh facing Nana. And like dragging her to like this middle table here. A lot of it because of the pearls. That's one key thing here. Is Nana drops a lot of pearls. But there's a little bit of a trick in Petunia. Is I highly, highly, highly do recommend is when you're facing Petunia, try to get as little pearls as possible. I highly recommend try to get zero because the pearls like are still in the in play in Petunia's room. They do not despawn. And so when you face Nana, let's say you got zero I think it's medium pearls. If you get if you don't get all the medium pearls, less pearls spawn in Nana. At least if you do it fast enough. But like let's say you want to capture Nana at the bottom left here. Uh, you can check here first, as the boot is in here. And I'm gonna show you guys this trash right here as well. Usually if you just freeze in a price, so that's kind of a lucky time in there. But that should be fine here. Because you can freeze the booze in place. But we only do it a few times at high speed run. But I do recommend not doing that strap for a while. I think I'll at least show it off. But um, you can check bottom left. And if the boo's not there, you can just open the chest and go to the middle table and check this. And then you can just check the top right two spots here. After that. That's also the alternative of pathing you can do. If you're more comfortable. I guess if you're a newer runner and you want to to not have the pearls be completely in your way i kind of do recommend because this is actually the 100 percent strat is we check bottom left first so if you're way too worried about the pearls like constantly getting in your way you can't just capture bottom left to check bottom left first that's completely okay it's definitely slower I do recommend trying to get used to like starting starting at least at middle table, if not bottom right. There's three different alternatives you can do. So I like where you start the boot pathing and all that. But uh, I think that's all about Nana. So we got next um Astro Hall, which is um a never pretty complicated boo. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we have Astro Hall. This room is a pain to read sometimes. So, there is one key thing about boo reading in this room that's super, super important. It's the direction which he is currently facing. If it's going straight red, the boo is in there. Like, I've showed it off several times so far. At least the boo, the boo or the boo bomb, as we said. But... We're gonna go over the pathing a little bit. I do recommend checking top left and top right first, personally. The reason why is they're the most common spawns, but it's not by that much. I think it's like a 40% chance, maybe 50, that the boo could be one of these two top cabinets. So you got the two cabinets and all five candlesticks have a boo spawn in it. Um, so the, the direction you are facing with the Ouija, as you can see, this means the boot is in the top left candle currently, because the boot bomb's here. Then the boot just moves, so now he's in the bottom right candle. Just try your best to, like, get good at reading this radar of what direction Ouija's facing, and specifically this room as much as possible. And also, just in general, like... This room can be very, very annoying to read for new runners. 
So just keep in mind, the direction Ouija is currently facing, if you're looking at this candle, if it's straight red, check it. Which is not, it, it was in there, but he moved. So the boo's now one of the cabinets, he's on top right here. So I do recommend just checking both these cabinets. And then after that, just like do what I was talking about. Like you can take you as much time as you need as well. Like it's completely okay. There's not really any alternatives. You can check candles first if you really want to. Just like get it out of the way. But a lot of the time, the boo is in one of the cabinets. Like it's most common, I'll say. I will say, like, it's not like Toolshed and Butler by any means. Because Toolshed and Butler always seems to happen. These kind of, like, it's, it feels kind of 50 50. I'll say. Either the booze have won the cabinets or won the candles. So just try your best. Like, don't feel upset that you can't get this boo fast or anything. Because this boo is very, very troublesome for new runners. So. But yeah, that's that's the best I could probably describe Astro Hall. So let's go over to Projector. All right, guys. Now we're in the projection room, and this boo is pretty straightforward. So the boo spawns in this room is this little like record stand here, the top right spawn, all the way to top left, and then also this projector. Keep in mind about the projector. I'll try to showcase it. The boomers there. I'm pretty sure. I guess I'll find out for myself. Is if the boo is in this projector, vacuum it every single time. Because I'm pretty confident if you knock on it, it does not work. It's the projector is pretty weird. I'll see if the boo moves there. I guess we'll find out all together. But, um, usually I do recommend this to check the record stand here. The record stand, I believe, is the most common spawn there by quite a bit. Um, I guess a, a lot of my good ones, he's never in here, which is annoying. But I say like 40, 30, 30, 40% of the time, there's a boo in the spawn. And then top right. You can try. To read if it, the boo could be in projector. As you can see, he just went to projector here. And I'm knocking on it. It's not working. So, big, big tip. Back into projector. And then the boo spots. It's very weird why that works. I don't really understand it. But it's just how it is. It's like the boo's like in the table itself, like, completely stuck inside it. And the budget is a very weird object in the game here. Like, I don't know why they made it that you have to vacuum it, but just never knock on this, always vacuum it, because it's not gonna work. Not sure why, it's just how it is. But so, once again, right side, top left. You can probably just reach projected third after that. You can try your best to try to reach both these at the same time. But I do recommend just going right the top right first regardless. And then if you're walking over, you can kind of just see if it's going faster. If it's not, you can check top left after that. This room's pretty straightforward. So, there's that much more I could talk about in this room. Um, and yeah. We're gonna move on to Twins? No, Neville. We got Neville, we got everyone hallway. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we're now in the study is uh Neville's room. Because we do backtrack to Neville's room eventually. So let's talk about it. So the main thing is this desk can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Is um I this I, I believe there's three spawns in this table, two or three spawns. And normally what you want to do is vacuum the table and like try to run up against it as much as possible. So it could be in it's like two spawns at the desk, I believe, one or two, and there's also a spawn in this chair here. Like the main thing you want to do is try to like activate all of this at once. 
and let's say like you check all the spots like that should activate super slow like i'm not really the best at this view so i'm probably not the best person to describe this view specifically but as you can see like that chair to activate it's just a lot later as you can see the boot just spawned so one thing we do you don't necessarily have to do this strat either is after you spawn Neville Boo. Let's say you spawn fast, right? And you're like right here. You want to aim down. If they have a boot charge you, go back and then all pump and grab the fire that spawned as you're getting the boo as well. I'll try to get myself a demonstration for you guys. But let's say the boo is not in the desk at all. What else is there? For some weird reason, they added a spawn in the ship of a bottle. It could be a little bit of a pain to activate sometimes, but that's also one of the spawns. And the boo's in neither of the spawns. The boo could be in like in this little lamp here. Well, it's not really little, it's pretty tall, but. So. About two to three spawns at the desk. Once one of those spawns is the chair itself. As you can see, like, like the chair is the most annoying in the room. Because it can be a little bit tricky to activate sometimes. You can't find a good spot for it. I haven't really found that spot myself. Which is kind of wild to say. But after that, you want to be aiming down a fire. And then start checking this little ship on a bottle. I do recommend getting the fire. First, spawn it, and then start shaking it. Or you can just grab it first, start shaking after. And then check this top left, or bottom left spawn over here. So let me guy, let me show you the uh, most optimal way to do this boo. If we get the right side desk slash chair spawn. So give me one second here. Uh, I got the boo to move over here, so yeah, you just walk over towards the lay fire here, and the boo will always charge you every single time. And that's like, it wasn't like the cleanest by any means, but um, but if you are aiming down towards the fire around right here as the boo spawns, like in this area, the boo will always charge you. So I do highly recommend trying to get like, okay at this strat, at least get in the fire. Like the boo only has 50 HP, like the boo's not that hard to deal with. I mean, worst case scenario is, you, you don't want the boo to some, somehow leave to like hollow. But like, if you do mess up and like a boo goes to Lydia, you have to go back to Lydia anyways at some point. So, it's not like the biggest deal in the world by any means. But yeah, that's the best way you can start Neville. Just, once again, check all these three, two to three spawns here. Try to make sure you get a chair too. It's not even activating right now. Because I don't think it is. And then... Grab a fire, check a shipping bottle at the same time, if it's not there. And if it's in neither spawns, this spawn's kind of rare. Just like walk on over. You can like walk over and vacuum it too. I see top runners do that as well. But yeah, that's Neville Boo. Let's get over to twins. Alright guys, so we have twins now for you guys. And... Once you beat twins, I do recommend if you're a new runner to grab the pearls. But since I'm a gab web, there's like no pearls here. I guess this is just mainly about the breeds themselves and all that. So like after you grab the pearls, assuming you do, uh, there's about three spawns in this desk here. But desk is definitely like the most common here. And then you got the top left. And then you got the door board. He's not in the twin bucket. He's not a bucket. The twin bed at all. He's not like over here. He, the boo's only left side of the dartboard. So that's about five spawns in this room. Because three of them's in this desk. I think both chairs have a spawn. And then the desk itself has a spawn. That's how it works. 
So after you beat Twins, you can try to instant knock one of these chairs. It's prey that he could be in there. Um, he has to move back in there again. They got boot balls over here. So you can just vacuum cancel if you're good at it at least to spawn the boo. I do highly recommend. I'm just gonna let this boo go and be free. Um, I do recommend shaking this as long as possible until if the boo does spawn or doesn't spawn, say it's a boo ball, it stops going completely fast. Then go over to the chest, open the chest, and then check the dartboard. And if it's straight red, like how it shows here, the boo is in there. And then, to me, the worst spot in the room is this um, little like stand here with the globe. But yeah, twin room's pretty simple, I'll say. Just check these. It's not any of those spots. Open the chest, check the dartboard. And then check the stop like spots as the last option. But um, if it's not straight red, don't like knock on it. By the way, just like open the chest and just walk over here. You can also just vacuum it. It's probably a little better if you vacuum it, honestly. It's probably like a tiny bit faster because you have to go all the way to it. Plus, you have a very decent chance to accidentally go through the door. That's a pretty big problem I used to have back in the day so but yeah that's twin boo and let's go over to chauncey boo which is also not that difficult also guys so we're now in chauncey's room and as you can see when you walk into chauncey's room specifically for twin room like pretty fast so if it's going full red like it was just now that means the boo is in the painting so that is the main thing about Chauncey Boo that you want to like keep in mind. So I was hoping you want to spawn there, but I'm gonna let him leave so like a radar stays here. So like if you leave Twin Boo and immediately go to Chauncey, if it is straight red, check just check this painting. But there's a thing about this read that does change. So if you get Twin Boo in the hallway specifically if you get twin boot in the hallway um say so like he escapes you goes to the hallway the read does change so if it's if you get twin boot in the hall late hallway and it's going straight red that means it's up here at the top right instead it's kind of it's pretty strange like how that works but um usually if you leave nev like twins to chance like super quickly like a fast scan that's how the root works so they got the painting of chauncey you got a type light top right cabinet and then this table was pretty important as i am it is about three spawns so like let's say you don't get any read here it's just nothing just steady yellow pretty, pretty much uh, just shake this for about a couple seconds until you get any spawns at all. You probably, if you get like one spawn, it's a boo ball. And, um, so if you shake this table, you get one spawn, it's just a boo ball. And you, you gotta get like nothing. Just go over here to the crib. Um, that's only, I guess there's only, te let's, let's like four spawns, but it's like three in here. So it's more like six in this room um most of the time i'll say that chauncey is in like one of these chairs or this table here most of the time but yeah if you get you get a fast radar i mean you can't check both if you're unsure but a lot of the time if it's going straight red unless you get twin boo in hallway the boo will be in painting. Painting's kind of rare, though. I don't normally get... I, d I don't normally get a boo ball in painting, honestly. Most of the time, you see either in this spawn or in here. It's a pretty straightforward room. But once you check the desk, you just go over to the crib. And that's it. It's not a rock and oil, a ceiling, etc. A shelf here with more chunky paintings. I don't know why that three paintings of, like... 
the same picture, but they do. <laughs> It's like little windows here. It's not in the windows. But yeah, I'll say that's about it for Trunks' room. So I'm going to go over to Lydia next. All right, guys. Next, we got Lydia's room. So keep in mind about this room. Since I'm on Gabboy, but there's no lag in this room. So keep that in mind if you're playing on console. Because Lydia's room is super, super laggy. It's the second laggiest room in the entire game. So keep that in mind. So as you can see, as you walk in the room... You can see the Blu-ray is going pretty fast. So the one th main thing you want to do is there's a tech skip in here with the bed sheet. Is you back up and you back up towards the cabinet with a tech skip and the boot just spawn as you can see. And then you just go for the boo. And then the tech skip immediately after that. As the there's another boo in here, the Chauncey boost in here as well. It's actually good because um I can I can show the radar a bit more. But um, there's only four spawns in this room, so if you do get a fast yellow, just go for the tech skip and try to shake this at the same time. You can also Let me reset the tech skip here. And another no thing, if you leave the room, the sheet immediately comes back. So that's a nice way to practice. You can just go for the tech skip, then just knock on it. If you if you're not like completely comfortable with the tech skip yet. This tech skip, I'll say, is by far the easiest. So let's say there's no read here. You still go for the tech skip, and then you just shake this bed. And then a boo will spawn here, as you can see. I don't know why I didn't go for the tech skip, but you, you get the point, though. And then after that, um, ideally, you don't want these two spawns. Because it is pretty laggy. You can... You could... Like, go like right here, and then vacuum both at the same time. The problem with doing that, it's super laggy. So, most of the time, you just knock on this, and then just go to the mirror. Just walk up to the mirror, and check it, and then get the boot for the tech skip immediately after that. Um, yeah, that's not, not really any alternatives at all, so. Pretty straightforward room, I'll say. And then, yeah, next will be the Fortune Tower boot. I guess. So next we got Fortune Teller. So immediately after Castle Club Voyeur and all that. So the main thing you want to do is check the top left here first most of the time. You can usually tell if he's top left if it's going like somewhat fast. Usually if you just open a chest, walk up it just a little bit. You'd know there's a boo spawn in there. So this time it is a boo ball. And then um... A lot of time, you will check this spot. So after you check this spot, immediately grab the key. And let's say if there's a boo ball, you can see that the radar is going pretty fast here. That means the boo is in one of two spawns. And this means the boo's in the chair here. Because I'm facing straight right compared to the table. I do recommend just vacuuming these two. Just spawn the boo. They just go straight to the door as soon as he gets the boot. As best as you possibly can. I just always, always, always recommend. No matter what, make sure you at least open the chest before you check any of the spawns. Because you want to get to a closer door as possible to save like a few seconds compared to like you getting the boot here, open the chest, getting the key, then leaving. It's a lot slower. So. You got a top left here, these two spawns here, you shake them both, I'll say, with a vacuum, and then it's top or right spawn. This boo's always in top right on good runs. Um, usually the boo's top left to top right. Like, a boo's not normally in middle for me. I don't know why. I think you would like, be in here more, but it's just not how it is. Unfortunately. Yeah, but there's nothing else to talk about, just make sure you open the chest first. And then just check in this order. Just make sure, like, if there's no... If it's not going fast here at all, don't bother checking there. Just walk over over here. Also, I guess this is a good thing why I did that. If you try to knock on this too early, too early, you will leave the room. So, try to keep that in mind. I will recommend tracking you should vacuum it. 
because that's one of the most annoying things in the game is how like wide this hitbox can be. Is this still has a pretty wide hitbox? Especially like inside the room. Like I know you're like like close to the door, but you can easily leave the room. So I do recommend also vacuuming the top right there. Or at least get like a lot closer to like right here. But I say it's a little bit faster use of vacuum every time and all that. But um yeah, that is core voyaboo. And we're gonna move on to Safari. We've got about what six boos left. Yeah, we're getting close, so I'll see you guys at Safari. Alright guys, we now have Safari. This room's also pretty straightforward to read. So a lot of time, if you go for like a fast double by any means, um, a lot of the time you'll end up being towards the chair. Um, you can go for an instant knock on this chair. It's pretty... it's kind of tough to do. But um... So, like, you get the double at the side of the room. I try, I highly do recommend trying to get to the chair first. I mean, you can check here. There's two spawns in this, like, shelf, like, box in the, um, like, deer here. So, there's only three spawns in this room. You got the chair. As you can see, it just spawned a blue ball. And then you got, you just use the vacuum of these two spawns. And, um, say there's Nana Boom. Um, once a boo's at about 45 HP, they do through the boo. And then just try to get the key with a vacuum. As soon as the key is ready to be obtained with the vacuum. Because it does take like, about like a second or so to like, able to touch the key. But Safari is pretty straightforward. Just chair, just shake. How you, kind of like how you shake to spawn the um, first water ghost in the room with the ice. Also, don't forget the ice, by the way. That's pretty important because that's a pretty big time loss. But it, like the same way how you spawn the ghost, just check both of these because it's in the boxes or these like deers. So do keep that in mind. And yeah, that's... Honestly, about it, it's like the boo's not in the boxes, the boo's not in this like hard to container, and the boo's not in the ceiling. <laughs> the leopard heads are here. They didn't, they didn't have like a hitbox, like at all. There's also a mirror here, but there's nothing you can do about it, what boo wise. But yeah, only three spawns in this room, so don't be checking the boxes or anything, like over here. And yeah, that's Safari, and we're gonna move over to the first area for Boo, Breaker. See you guys there. Alright guys, so, before I talk about Breaker here, disclaimer. The most important thing about Breaker, if you're new to Breaker, or you're new to Witch's Mansion, do not go for this Boo. 100% do not go for this boo. It is not worth it whatsoever to go for break a boo if you're a new runner. Because a lot of new runners recently have told me that they have been going for break a boo and skip a Vanguard boo. Is don't do it. It's not worth it. Break it only saves 8 to 10 seconds. It's about 10 seconds with tech skip. 8 seconds with the breaker itself. And breaker is the hardest boo that's down to King Boo 1 cycle in the entire game. It's the hardest boot to one cycle, easily. So, disclaimer, do not go for Breaker if you are new. Go for Vanguard Boo. And I'm going to show you guys Vanguard Boo later, and I'm going to show you why Vanguard Boo is so much easier for new runners, it's insane. Especially for Boo Reads. So, the main thing about Breaker Boo, I will just, I'll at least describe like how you read the room. So if you are curious, like how we read the room. This is a good, good way to check. So, usually, I just have a text up here. If the main thing you want to do is open the chest and grab, and to see if the boo's left side here, the boo did move to table just now. Um, and just grab the key. Always grab the key first. Especially, like, 
if you are like a sub one owner. Because n normally when you go for Breakaboo, you probably have sub one hour. Maybe like if you get close to like a sub one hour, you like try it out a little bit. But um, I will have Breakaboo tutorials in the description as well. That's about like, three of them. Uh, two. No, that's about th that's like four tutorials, I believe. And two of them are with track strat, two of them are with wall strat, so keep that in mind. There's two different strats for Breaker. But the main thing is if it boots not left side, it's in this table, and only at this bell right here, it's not at the top bell, it's only at this bell right here. It's um two of the spawns. And there's a bunch of spawns in these bells here. So I highly recommend just aiming like northeast to like check all these spawns as quick as you could possibly can as Breaker just spawned. So the main thing about Breaker as a boot just leaves. Um What makes Breaker interesting is if the boot spawns at the top bells. I think I'm not sure every single bell has a spawn, but I think I'll, most of them do. I think it's probably like five, six, seven, eight spawns in these bells, maybe. I could be wrong. But normally, you gotta check them all regardless. Is if a bell, if the boo spawns at the top bell, and you're facing east, the boo will charge you every time. And if the boo is that bottom bell, the boo has a chance to charge you, but it's not guaranteed. Because the boo spawns lower, at top bell, so it has a 100% guarantee charge. So keep that in mind. If you're like trying breaker, but again, if you're do, do not go for this boo. Skip this boo, get the key, get out, go to seller. Every time. Just don't go for it. You can try and practice if you want, but overall, don't go for it. And if the boot isn't table, by the way, take the cloth off. You cannot activate the table. Um, with the cloth on, same with Parlor. I'm not sure if I even said that, but hopefully I did. But if not, then there you go. Um, if there's a cloth, besides like the bed and Lydia, if there's a cloth on a table, you have to take it off to activate the boot spawn, which is kind of weird. But yeah, that's Breaker. Um, once again, if you're new, do not go for it. Um, but if you're like a sub one hour runner or if a sub one hour runner already, um, then you can consider going for it. But right now, new runner, do not go for it for a while. But yeah, we're going on to seller now. All right, guys. So we're now in seller. So the main thing about seller is about. I believe six spawns in this room. Uh, there's two spawns in both shelves that you can see to my right and the middle of the room. And the two bells that you activate the uh, punches from. So the main thing about this, as you can see, I'm at the chest. I, I once again recommend open the chest first. And you can see it's like it's like a slight yellow. Like it's fast, but not like not like super super fast. If it's like insanely fast, check these two um, shelves here. There's two spawns. One's at the bottom and one's at the top. I think I just got a boo there. I, if this mushroom can like go away, it'd be great. So um. As you can see, it's much, much faster when the boo is right side. So there's a spawn at the bottom of the shelf and one at the very top. Try to make sure you activate both spawns. Um, because I've made that mistake many a times so that both spawns were in the same shelf. Hey, I'm just looking around everywhere that like I missed the boo spawn. This is the best spawn in the room, too. It's one of these two shelves. So say it's not there you can see i'm facing left here um usually you can kind of tell if the boot might be in the top right bell most of the time if it's not moving fast at all um the boo can be in the spell here i think both spawns are on no shove right now but after that let's say it's not there's two spawns here Try to see what's boot moved. It might be into the bell just now. I believe so. 
Let's set out. There's two spawns here. Same as that thing. And he wasn't here. So. Same thing as the right shelf is. The boo could be in a bottom of the shelf or the very, very top of the shelf. Just try your best to activate both spawns. Unless, like, you notice that a boo radio is not going fast at all. And then after that, a barrel right here. And usually, you want to go about right here to activate the barrel. He can just play it safe and just take the dust off and do it this way. And then just capsule boo like this, like towards the bottom of the room. You can do that. It's probably a little bit safer doing it that way if you do get this spawn. This is by the worst spawn in the room by like a long shot. Um, but yeah, two sp about two spawns in here, bottom top shelf, two spawns in here, bottom top shelf, top right bell, then a bottom left bell. You can go, you can go over to this way if you're new, but if you're more of a skilled runner, like a bench runner, uh, I do recommend just going here and then just capturing like here and then just get into the door. But yeah, that's cellar, and after that, we're gonna go to, I believe... Well, what's that, this armory? Yeah, we're going to armory, which is... I say like the last complicated breed in the entire game, so we'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so now we're at armory, and this room is also kind of a pain to deal with. There's quite a bit of spawns in this room, and you can say like a long walk of shame if he's in left side so like like in most streams we've been talking about recently is the main thing you want to do is to open the chest first make sure the key's out and then Kabu just moved into the best spot of the room just now is um so these four like middle armor stand guys here the boo can only spawn in two of these because this one here and then the third one um spawn ghost so all these stands that spawn ghost i think besides this one i no that's that's incorrect so all the stands that do not spawn ghost those have a boo spawn in the room so so the second one from the left and then the final run one at the right side and then these two ones right here also have a spawn and also keep in mind there's a little bit of a trick with this right chest here if you go about where i'm standing and aim down you can activate the spawn from there and then able to get the boo um you don't necessarily have to do it if you're new but it's a nice little time save if the boo is in there So if you're standing about right here, if you know like the boo's not in these three armor stands right here, um, you see a little bit of speed. You see if you just aim down and go against against it, you will activate the chest. Um, also keep in mind, I'm on Gad Warp, and this room is insanely laggy on console, so it will take a little extra time to spawn the room, spawn the room, spawn the boo. So, also keep that in mind if you're on console. And another thing about Armory Boo is you can get input lag. So, you can drop all pumps pretty easily. Um, a lot of time it doesn't happen. But, like, if there's, like, a bunch of money just flying around or you're shaking stuff on accident, um, you can drop all inputs pretty easily so do keep that in mind as well so if that if you don't if you do all pump on console it doesn't work it's because of lag it just happens sometimes so so after this so let's go over this again open the chest and then just try to read these four armor stands i do recommend is if there's a spawn here or here try to check chop right first just to make sure because the boo bomb that spawns in this room can get in your way if the boo is in one of these two spawns and since it's laggy too the bomb takes a little bit longer to explode so like you kind of just waste time 
It's just to see if the boo spawn it can't be possibly there. I lost so much time, so many times, because I check here first. The bomb gets in my way, so I can't check any of these two stands. And I just assume he's left side, that he's top right, that just pretty much killed my run, which is annoying. So I do recommend at least checking these two first, just to make sure there's not spawn there. So I'll say like check top right, then this one, and then this one. Unless you found a spawn here already, and you know 100% the boos in here. That's I think that's the early way I recommend it at the moment. Unless I can find a better way to avoid the bomb. So after that, there's the spawn here, as I said, with a chest. Uh, you don't have to do this strat, like I said, but it does speed up. It does speed up a little bit. Except for walking all the way down here and just knocking on it. So I do try I do recommend trying to get good at it. Um And after that, there's three more spawns. This is almost in right here. And then like a middle is chest. The left side of the mirror. And then a far left chest. Also has a spawn as well. Because it goes spawns in here in this chest. So there's no spawn in here. The same thing for this bottom left chest as well. Is this no spawn in there? But not in the boxes. Not the ceiling light. Um not in the shield down here. There's no spawn in there either. This room's one of the most complicated rooms and also one of the most punishing rooms in the game to get battle in GN, unfortunately. Especially like towards the end game. But um and I guess a big tip as well with the boo charge. If you get a right side boo spawn, I do recommend trying to go for a charge. And usually the charge works if you're like in these three armor stands right here. The boo would usually always charge you if you're facing the opposite direction. So like if you do want to get I do recommend trying to get a boo to the side of the room. Kinda like how it showed when I skinned the boo earlier. I guess I can get a quick demonstration for you guys, so give me one second here. So, once again, open the chest, check these spawns. I can see there's nothing. I can notice there's a spawn possibility in that chest that wasn't. So, I'm hoping I can get a boo to move here, actually. So, give me one second here. Move to the right side, so... Spawn the boo, face away to, like, the three armor stands. And just try your best to avoid the boo and just start capturing him with the all pump style. As best as you can. That was not the best boo. I kind of like messed up a little bit there. Like... I didn't drop an all pump. I kind of just did an all pump there for some reason. But um... But a lot of the time, if you, if you all pump and like nothing happens, it's because of lag. It's just an annoying thing about this game is the high lag in some rooms. But yeah, that's about it for Armory. And we're gonna move on over to Western Boo. See you guys there. Yeah, so I just beat Western here. So the main thing about Western Boo is opening the chest. I recommend getting all the pearls, especially if you're new. Not a lot of people go get Western Boo with the um with the pearls on the ground only like the top of the top runners like avoid the pearls because it does save a lot of bit of time a lot of it a little bit of time so Weston has about six spawns so pretty much anything you can interact with in this room can give you a spawn besides like Weston's little setup here so the main thing is, once you open the chest, once again, I do recommend checking these two bells first. As you can see, there's a boo ball in here. And then after that, grab the key. At least try your best. You can get the key first, by the way. I kind of recommend getting the key first in Weston before activating any of the boos. So as you can see, the boo moved to top bells. So... If he's not on top bells, I do recommend checking these three spawns right here. 
So these two boxes in that shelf all have a spawn. So you just run up against it and try to activate all three at the same time. Uh, usually you can, you can tell if the boo is in the boxes and not in the shelf. Especially if you get boo ball in the top right barrels. Um, so usually you check the boxes first. Be prepared for a boo. Because you have to be pretty prepared for Western boo. And then after that you can check the shelf. If it's not fast at all, the last place you go to is this shelf right here. And keep in mind, little thing. You can knock on this. As you see, the boo just moved there. So it works out pretty beautifully. Western boo is... I'll say for new runners, the hardest boo in the game. That's not worth the break of boo out. So don't feel too bad losing him. Um, when you when you're capturing Western boo, at least say this about this is when you're getting Western boo, try your best to be above the boo, like facing south. Because the main reason why I say this is because a lot of the time the boo will just go to the hallway. If the boo goes to the hallway, assuming he has like 50 HP at worst. No matter which room, I guess cell could be tricky. But if he goes back to Weston, you should be able to get him like most of the time. They need to spam all pumps too to get to him. Because he, he can get to Weston pretty quickly because of the ice. That's Sweetie just shivering for you. Um, but once again, top right bells, grab the key, if you did get the key first, slide on over, be prepared for a boo just in case, and then if it's not there, set the two boxes, then the shelf, unless you got no fast read whatsoever, and um, after that, just slide on over to the shelf here, and you can't knock on it, and yeah. That's quite funny. I guess I'll show you guys a quick demonstration of the box spawn and then we'll move over to Vanguard Boo. So give me one second here. All right, so once again, as you can see, there's a possible spawn on bells, I believe here. This is a little delay. So open the chest, check bells. I'm not gonna spawn them, just like demonstrate. Grab the key, start sliding down. And as you can see, it starts speeding up. If it goes like super red, most of the time, especially like sooner, like really about right here, usually it does mean he's in the boxes. As you can see, the food ball was like a bomb or red spawn. And then, um, as you can see, there's no like fast read here at all, so just move on over to the shelf. Then check that after that, because the boot is in, um, bomb right here. So you just spawn him, grab the key, and just try to be prepared as possible for getting this boo. Usually what I do with Weston is every time I up pump, I do hit C up at the same time. Because it, it does avoid the boo going as high as possible. So, a little tip of Weston boo. Try to get a little bit of muscle memory at tapping C up every time you up pump. Because that will make the boo, at least most of the time, go lower. Like, a boo was a little bit high still, but a boo never double cackle. Because my spacing for a boo was pretty good as well. With also trying to load the boo at the same time. So, a little bit of a tip for you guys for Western Boo. But yeah, that's the last... This will be the last boo for a breaker boo route. But for new runners, like I said earlier... Do not go for Breaker Boo, go for Vanguard Boo, and that's the last people we're going to talk about, so let's get to it. Alright guys, we are now at the final Boo to get, that you can possibly get in the No Out of Bounds route. Vanguard Boo. Vanguard Boo is super, super simple, Boo reading wise. You think, oh, all these pings here, I bet they all have a spawn in it. No, they do not. Vanguard Boo only has two spawns in the entire room. See this like little piece of wood here? This is one of the spawns. The other spawn is right here in the bottom left. That is it. 
That is literally it. Even if you beat Vangor in the boot moves, always check the two spawns. Because since there's only two spawns in the room, the boo ball, let's say the boo ball is in here, and the boo moves, I think a boo's in here. Like a boo ball and a boo themselves switch. And this is an early room in the game I believe that this happens in. Is there's only two spawns the entire room. As you can see, the boo moved. But there's only two spawns. So it's end up being a boo bomb. So you just go over here to the bottom left. And you start capturing Van Gorbu. It's just that that simple. So there's no spawns in the paintings. At all. Just this piece of wood here. Pretty sure it's wood. It looks like wood. Just knock on this. Not there. Walk over. Knock on this or vacuum it. Vacuum it is a little bit faster, especially if you do like vacuum cancels and all that. But yeah, that is Van Gogh Boo. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. And for two second Van Gogh Boo, go to the hallway. You always, always, always. Always go back to Bangor. Every single time. Every single time. So do not be discouraged at all if you do lose Bangor at like a high HP. Like I just lost my three there. It's really not the biggest deal in the world. Unless you like the only times you've got left is two second Bangor Bill. It's that that simple, guys. This is why I highly, highly recommend if you're new, go for Bangor Boo over Breaker. Like, it's super, it's so much easier for beginners. There's only two spawns. A boo can't go to like telephone or soldiers. That's not a thing. Because I think the story would be a lot different if Bangor Boo can go to other rooms, especially like left side attic with like soldiers is and all that. But yeah, that is the tutorial for you guys for about boo reads. I best I can just describe them pretty much. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm usually live playing this game about four to five days a week. As of now, as I'm grinding for 56 in this specific category, the no, no, advanced category. So keep in mind, I did not talk about 100% boos, like pipe boo, um, uh, driver's boo, telephone boo. I didn't talk about any of those boos. Uh, maybe someday I'll talk about this boost in the future, but I'm not really the best at 100% at the moment. So I figured I will just strip this to Nerd of Bounds, especially because Nerd of Bounds is the most popular category in a Ouija expansion. So yeah, I do appreciate you guys stopping by, check out the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, you can ask away in the comments. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. You can ask me on my Twitch. You can ask for a demonstration again. At least while I'm not doing runs. So... Yeah, thank you guys for your time, and yeah, I'll see you guys later, and bye-bye.